My name is David Roy. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon. I started traveling here in 1998, and I've been traveling to China ever since. In 2020, I decided to spend all of my time here. So I moved to uh, Guangzhou and started uh, working here. So welcome to my office. I'm about to start a, another day of work here at Washington. I'm lucky enough to have this nice, comfortable place to work. The first is um, this bouquet of uh, crocheted flowers. So these flowers were given to me by a family uh, whose child I operated on. Um, I treated a child from Tibet um, who traveled here for some very complex surgery. In a ceremony as they left, uh, the family gave me this, this scarf. And um, uh, it's, uh, I've never been to Tibet, so this is my substitute in having this, uh, this nice scarf that they gave me. I have in my phone um, a couple of photos that I thought would be interesting uh, to the audience. Uh, so this is a, a picture of me and uh, a uh, famous Chinese surgeon, Dr. Xi, at the, uh, in a hospital, in a rehabilitation hospital in Harbin, uh, which, and this picture was taken in 2000. I um, have another picture to share with you, which is Dr. Xi and I, so 23 years later, uh, we, we're still colleagues, but we still see patients together and operate on patients together. So for me, the story, these two pictures represent what's happened to the healthcare infrastructure in China. You can't really tell from the early picture, but that was in a small rehabilitation hospital. It was difficult to work there. The, the power didn't always work. The, we uh, had, during my time operating in that operating room over a, a period of two years, three times I had the power go off. The picture from 19 from 2023 shows a very different story. We have, you know, integrated electronics, you know, into the podia in the OR, electrocartery, we have the best and famous German anesthesia machine, you know, x-ray machine in the OR, uh, everything to make our job safe, effective, easier. The change has been totally amazing, represented in those two pictures. So. The healthcare providers in China really care about their patients and they have a respect for learning uh, that I didn't find all over the world. Almost everything we treat is um, chronic. You know, it, it requires a long-term relationship and, and follow-up. In the kids' medicine, we have to see them and continue to see them and make sure that their growth is okay and that they, that the result outcome is okay. So the combination of my social um, network and my patient network uh, give me a sense of, of belonging here in China. I'm lucky enough to have been here, you know, during this kind of you know, crazy rising up of uh, the Chinese economy and infrastructure. When I first came, the high-speed train network had just barely begun, and the the, the regional airport building had just started. Now I travel all over the country and uh, it's so easy and comfortable and uh, I use the high-speed train all the time and I see myself continuing my work in China. My American friends who have or have not even been to China would say, you know, how can you deal with the, with the crowds? And I say to them, what I will say to you is like, you know, for me it's, it's a vitamin. It's, it's enriching, you know, the energy that I get from the Chinese people is like what keeps me working and living and growing. So for me, it's not a problem. It's, it's, a, it's a joyful thing.